Well, Norway is a big oil and gas producing country, but we do know that uh, in the low emission future, we cannot live from oil and gas. And that's why we are very eager to uh, build green competitiveness for Norway. Well, two years ago, we had a steep fall in oil prices. At the same time, 2015 also gave us the Paris Agreement. And uh, we therefore have a confluence of uh, a falling oil price and a very clear path to the low emission future. And while we will have oil and gas with us for a long time still, we need to uh, do massive investments in ensuring that Norway will be a low emission society in future. The cars pollute a lot in Norway and the, re the reason why they do it is of course they run on fossil fuels. So we need to change the technology to zero emission cars and electric cars is a zero emission vehicle that can use electricity. So our pol politicians are very eager to make this shift from fossil fuel cars to zero emission cars. Frankly, I don't even think it's such an ambitious goal. This is nine years from now. Already the market share for fully electric vehicles in Norway is close to 16%. Uh, already almost 4% of all our cars are electric. Uh, so, and with the technology shift and the, the prices of batteries coming down, uh, I think this is, if not easy, it's at least definitely possible to reach this goal. Last year our parliament uh, set a goal uh, that by 2025 we will have no new fossil fuel uh, cars sold in Norway. That was a political ambition. Uh, we have incentive schemes to get there. We have no taxes on electric uh, vehicles, but they're also able to drive uh, freely through toll roads, uh, on ferries on the west coast, uh, free parking. But we also, also said nationally that uh, cars, electric vehicles, should pay no more than 50% of what other uh, cars do in toll roads and parking. Norway is an is oil producing country and it's a really important part of our economy. But um, the Norwegian politicians are really um, worried of course about the future because we know that oil is not going to last forever. There are a lot more and more investment in renewable energy and with the climate change we need to, to remove from fossil fuels. Um, so the after oil challenge is really on the agenda in Norway and being discussed a lot. Uh, so what are Norway going to make money on after oil's gone. This is something that we have to start developing already now. The whole transport sector is facing a paradigm shift, actually both transport and energy, and it's going to go really fast in the years to come. And I think the countries that are embracing this and taking part in this uh, development will benefit and, and also create new jobs. Norway is definitely leading. We're, we're the, the country with the highest percentage of electric cars per capita in the world. And no other countries have market shares like we do. As I said, it's, it's uh, about 30% last year, if you include the plug-in hybrids. Um, it was almost 16% with fully electric cars. I think Spain and the other countries need to, to get ready uh, for this change as well and, and embrace it and be part of it because it's going to happen pretty fast as soon as it starts rolling.